Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When you're in front of your own computer, whether it happens to be a desktop or uh, a notebook computer, uh, you probably have your favorite tools installed. And that's good, you know, and you may always be on the lookout for better tools to use for a variety of uh, functions. And that's cool, uh, no problem there. But what happens when you're on the road away from your desk, or let's say you can't find a good desktop tool to use. That would be software that you could use right there on a computer. Well, then you would turn to the web, and we've mentioned a few of these types of utilities before, but I'm going to mention this one because, well, it does seem to work pretty well. It's straightforward, and you don't have to register to start using it. And that is PickResize.com. That's P-I-C-R-E-S. I-Z-E dot com submitted by Sebastian and it does what it says it's going to do it'll help you resize pictures to you know specific percentage or pixel if you want so I've uh, uploaded a picture here a photo I could resize it I've also got a crop tool and that will allow me to eliminate parts of the picture that I just don't want anymore I've got a rotate tool I can tweak the brightness uh, and uh, I can apply that to the entire picture or just a specific area uh, I can tweak uh, and go in and add uh, text, a Gaussian blur, I can sharpen an area, there's a brush tool so I can draw in different areas in various colors on the photo. Again, this is all running within my web browser. I didn't install anything. That's again what the, the, uh, why you'd want to use this site. In fact, this is version 3.0 of the website and while I wouldn't say the UI is perfect, it, it's, it loaded really quick and I didn't have to sign up for any kind of wacky accounts or anything. Uh, I could go in and I could decide to raise or like do like a 3D outer bevel effect on the photo. I could do a frame, uh, make it look like a Polaroid oil paint type of a, I guess a filter for it. Uh, I could also spread or put noise throughout the picture, not like you know your digital photos aren't noisy enough, or just make it grayscale. When I'm done, it's right here. It says save as what? JPEG, GIF, or PNG? So you can select the quality, and then there's also more pick resize tools, including a batch resizer, where you can go in and you can go to your local hard drive, add all sorts of files, upload those files, and then choose how you want to resize those pictures. 75% smaller, 50%, or 25%. So there's a couple of different tools you may be able to use. Again, pickresize.com is perfect when you're on the road and you need to do some basic image editing and you don't want to install any software or you're on someone else's computer, maybe you're on a public computer, you just never really know. So anyway, thanks again for sending that tip along, Sebastian. My email address is chris at perillo.com and if you have any other recommendations, pass them along. You can also stop by the chat room, which is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, typically talking tech at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.